Hi guys! In this lesson, I will explain the working principle and structure of operational amplifiers, which we can encounter in many places in our daily life and which gain by amplifying the electrical signal. I will explain the types of operational amplifier circuits in the next video. Almost all of the signals to be processed by electronic systems are low amplitude, that is, weak signals. There are many electronic systems in our lives that amplify these weak signals and make them usable. For example, operational amplifiers are used in amplifiers where we amplify our voice or music with a microphone and give it to the speaker. In addition, for the diagnosis of heart rhythm disorders and vascular diseases, the electrical activity as a result of the heart rhythms that occur during the contraction of the heart is graphically recorded and we can see the shape on computer screens by raising it. Electrodes attached to the skin on the chest, arms and legs area, and electrocardiograph or ECG devices used in the detection of abnormal conditions, operational amplifiers are also used. In addition to these, transmitters used during the transmission and reception of extremely weak electromagnetic waves reaching our mobile phones and satellites that provide communication between them and smartwatches, which are used rapidly in recent times, are electronic devices that use operational amplifiers and process low signals by amplifying them. These and many more electronic systems that we can reproduce require sufficiently amplified electrical signals. Operational amplifier circuits are used to amplify electrical signals to the desired degree. Amplifiers are circuits used to provide power gain. So, what is an operational amplifier? How is the structure? Let's learn together. Op-amp is used as an abbreviation for operational amplifier. In daily life, it is possible to encounter two types of use in the form of op-amps and operational amplifiers. Operational amplifiers are produced with metal sheath plastic sheath, ceramic sheath, surface mount, that is SMD, or in very small micro sizes, depending on the conditions and conditions of the places where they will be used. As can be seen, operational amplifier ICs are produced in a wide variety of sizes and sheath shapes according to the needs. For example, we may prefer plastic sheathed ICs for circuit elements to be used for general or educational purposes while SMD or very small micro-sized op-amp ICs are preferred when it is required to be assembled by automatic machines or to work in extremely congested areas such as mobile phones. Here we will examine the connection diagram of the operational amplifier code 741, which is widely used and is called LM741 or UM741 according to the manufacturer. Besides, on the right, you can see the internal structure of the LM747 IC, which is also widely used and contains two LM741 operational amplifiers. As seen here, the LM741 operational amplifier is found in an 8 pins plastic case. When we look at the internal structure, pin 2 is the inverting input, pin 3 is the non-inverting input, and pin 6 is the output. Pin 7 is used for positive voltage supply and pin 4 is used for negative voltage supply. Pins 1 and 5 are used as offset for input unbalanced voltage adjustment. These pins are not used unless necessary and are left blank. Pin number 8 is empty. So how is the symbol for this? Let's look at it now. The circuit symbol is as you see here. As in its integrated structure, number 2 indicates inverting input, number 3 indicates non-inverting input, number 6 output, number 7 positive feed, and finally number 4 negative feed. I didn't show the first and fifth offset numbers here. Since they are not used much, they are not usually shown in the symbol. Since the number 8 is already blank, it is not displayed either. The signal input to be amplified here is from the second and third inverting and non-inverting pins. It is taken from the output, which is the sixth pin as an amplifier. The operational amplifier must also be fed positive and negative from the seventh and fourth pins. Here you can see the LM747 integration with two LM741 operational amplifiers. 
Separate terminals are used for each operational amplifier, and only the negative supply voltage is used in common. Again, there are separate terminals for the input unbalanced voltage adjustment of each operational amplifier. When we look at the internal structure of the LM741 operational amplifier, we can see that there is a circuit consisting of resistors, capacitors, diodes, and transistors as here. In other words, this circuit has been minimized and fits into a small 8 pins IC. Thus, it has been made more useful. You can see that a lot of BJT transistors are used here. BJT transistors are used not only as switching elements, but also for voltage amplification, like here. This is basically the structure and working principle of the operational amplifiers. I hope this lesson was useful and you liked it. Hope to see you in the next video where we will examine the working principle of inverting, non-inverting, differential, and integrator operational amplifier circuits. Goodbye!